What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. And at long last, we are finally back here in NASCAR Heat 5 for our custom championship season. We are months removed from episode 3, but it is finally time for episode 4 and a race under the lights at the Homestead Miami Speedway, which will hopefully provide some very exciting multi-groove and multi-wide racing. I'm sure we'll be exterminated as usual and we will enjoy every second of it because it is good to be back and free from the gauntlet, which has just occupied my life for the last few months. It took way longer than I anticipated and I do apologize for the wait. But this is one of the first things I wanted to do when I came back. And I have a few good reasons why and a few new additions to show you guys. Of course, since we play this on PC, we're able to use mods. And with the help of a few of my friends and fellow YouTubers, we were able to get a custom paint scheme into this game for us to use for the rest of our season. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I have to give big thank yous to the next three people. I have to give big thanks to Gary Owen going here on YouTube. I got to thank Lation on YouTube and Twitter and I gotta thank my good buddy drive through drive through designs who designed this car the former two helped me get the car in the game because I did not have a big brain and I did not have the knowledge to get all the files in the right spot and make it all happen they did and they helped me tremendously so big thank you to them and with that we can pretty much let the good times roll. I mean, this should bring some new fun into the series, a little bit of new life. If you guys like these modded cars, hit that like button for me, and we can bring in some more. Maybe even go down in the comments section. Give me some suggestions of some future mods that you would like to see. Maybe some driver swaps we could do, some paint schemes, you name it. Leave your suggestions down below. With that, we will get ourselves to the racetrack because we've held you up enough. It is time to race. Let us go. Hold it high off the corner. Oh, a little wiggle. That's about as good as I'm going to do it, though. All it's right. still going to be We're nowhere near the pole time. And 11th place actually isn't that bad for my first fast lap back in heat. Uh, after quite some time, we score 11th ahead of Chase Elliott, so dunked on him. Uh, and then the top top 10s looking pretty stacked, if you ask me. And we'll see who got the pole. It was Matt Kenseth. Matt the Brat out of nowhere. Hey, slaps begin here at Homestead Miami Speedway. We are ready to go under the lights. Some stories of the race first. Matt Kenseth, well prepared. Chad Fincham, failed technical inspection. And just in case you forgot, Matt Kenseth is the pole winner. This guy, what a performance by him. What a look for us. This car is phenomenal. This is a tremendous look for us, I think. We're ready for green and we're off. There it is. And we're racing here in NASCAR Heat 5 for our custom championship race number four. Just outside the top 10. Let's see if we can change that here on the opening lap behind Blaney and Harvick here, who I would have bet my house on to win the last championship. As we're already a little loose on exit, but he did not. I alas would have been homeless. But I am not living in a box currently, so. Thankfully, I'm not a betting man. This is looking bad. Chase, why? Chase Elliott, with no regard for human life, is going to get a tap from me. And just, oh, and then Kurt Busch is just going to decide to stop. Come on, boys. Three wide. Still not preferred as I'm drifting up the track. Chase Elliott scared me down here. And there, there's Brad. There's my boy. Come on, Chase. You're holding me up here, brother. Get to the inside. I can't because Brad's there. I'm totally and utterly boxed in. And Blaney's on my back. Harvick's right there. No room to breathe anywhere. Oh, my God. We are still pretty much right when we started, though. Come on. Here's a run. We're getting a little bit of draft from Bowman up here. Truex stuck on the outside. That might be a benefit off the top on exit. If he can make it stick, I didn't. I'm sliding everywhere, and I'm getting a push. I'm getting a push from Harvick. Who do I go with? Do I just go to the bottom? I couldn't make it. I just had to shove it into Bowman and hope for the best. Is he going to wreck it into the corner? He is. Oh, he held it. Oh, shout out to Alex Bowman. One of the rare saves by an AI. He actually did it. Three brain cells were put together for that one, and all three of them were for Dale. <laughs> as I shove it underneath Brad. And another four wide scenario that I don't need to be involved in. And another push from Harvick. Harvick is the greatest pusher of all time. I need to remember this next time we're at a play track. 
Let's we shove Blaney to the corner. Oh, we're way too shallow there. I botched this corner completely. And another Still shot there. from Kevin Harvick. Outside we said no regard myself. for human life about Elliot earlier. I'm getting yeah, ass packed to the moon. I look like GameStop stocks right now to Harvick. He's pushing me all the way up. We got Blaney getting a little bit all oh, looser than I did too. And I'm gonna get to his inside with a little bit of draft help. Oh, what a race. Now the back stretch and there's a corner there, but I just wrecked Newman. He's gonna, oh, I was gonna say he was gonna save it. He's gonna cause some ruckus back there and Harvick gets held up in it. Newman had to put his neck into that one. What a save, 62 laps to go. The run on Logano here off the high side, potentially give me that sweet, sweet suck of draft down the front stretch. Got will set it in way deep right there. That I don't think is gonna pay off. Can we make it stick off the corner? It's a Still little there. loose. To the outside we go. What a power move here. This is how you win the damn war right here. Where's 2X? Take notes. This is how it's done on the outside. Can we make it last? Hold on, Logano's fighting back on the inside. Maybe I should shut my mouth. Because this fight is not over yet. It might be now if I don't put it in the wall because I'm looking around. We're going to clear him. Let's send it in. He's not going to get to our bumper. And I think we may have survived a wild encounter with Joey Logano. Oh, maybe not quite yet. I'm going to kill myself out here. Oh, my God. And we're right back in it with Harvick. A nice recovery by Harvick after getting taken down by our scuffle with Newman earlier. He's right back in the fight. That was a near-death experience. There was another one. A little bit smaller proportion. Let's see if we can get this draft with 59 laps to go. Now we're right back in the fight. <laughs> the things were looking so bright. I had cleared everybody. It was so calm, and now we're right back in it. Logano's going to block both lanes here. He's going to give there. us some draft. We're going to get a run on Harvick. I'm going to hold him up high. Make him ride the cushion up there. Come on, give me that there. run off the... Oh, Harvick fighting back on the high side. This is the multi-groove racing we were talking about at Homestead. Miami Speedway, it's beautiful for it. Logano just threw the block on Harvick, held him up. Oh, I might get my Logano right here. Oh, don't get loose, don't get loose. No. I'm not clear. Am I Am I clear? Oh, my God, we're almost three wide. I don't know. I don't think I'm... Uh, ah! I think I was clear right there. I should have just came up. I could have at least blocked Logano. No, I'm kind of the one sitting in the Harvick middle of the two lanes outside. here. Can I block Harvick? Oh, got him in a gill assault. Yep, get the caskets out. Nope, put it back. Put it back. Stop the dancing. We're alive. Okay. False alarm. Can I slide job up in front of Harvick here? Is he going to give me another? Oh, the ultra push. Oh, that's going to get me loose. We're going to. Oh, here we go again. Saved again. Oh, the racing gods are looking over us. Shining down upon us like these high beam lights. What are you going to do on my inside? Oh, my God. What a run by Harvick. That didn't even make sense. What? Oh, that's... Is that push going to upset his car? Harvick, if you wreck because of that, he held it. He just sailed it in there. All right, is Harvick just faster than me? Do I just need to accept this ultimate fact of life right now? Because I think that's where we're at right now. We got a front row seat for this battle. Matt Kenseth has fallen from the pole. Now to fifth, and I'm going to get that suck down the front. Oh, this is a super suck. To the inside we go. Oh, are we going to go right through the middle of both of them? That would have been sick, but I do not have the car for that Still or there. the driving ability. Considerably less of the latter than the former. See, Kenseth's even going to fight back on my outside here. Can I at least put Kenseth away? Matt Kenseth's SDW would say, get out of my way. I'm trying to get Harvick down here. He's got too many H's on the side of his car. I got to go get a couple of them on my way to the dump. So I give him a slap on the doors down the straightaway. Come on, clear him. Slide job. Where's Dell Jr.? I can hear him now. Can I make it stick though on the slow? Oh, I'm sliding. No, oh, and I'm getting pushed by kids and scrape off the wall. Oh, Harvick's diving out of the way. What's he doing? We got a car blowing up on the outside. 
That was the 37 of Ryan Priest. And that's a free spot by Harvick. Dowell getting in my way. I'm getting loose. Nothing good is happening right now. Oh, we're getting caught by the what-if car. Oh, this, oh, McDowell. Buddy, the gas pedal would be very beneficial right about now. So, oh, I'm gonna get a push from what-if. So this is another example of the modded car capabilities that we have as I'm getting run over. McDowell back there getting wrecked out of the way. But that is usually the Bobby Carter car. And in the spirit of the custom championship, I have modded it to be my friend at What If Racing, AKA Brian Pasternak. It's basically his car that we run in core together and the caution is out. And uh, ran, that might've been the latest caution. Was that for the front stretch? All right, when we get some there. fresh tires Enjoy here, nice little reset. Didn't lose any spots and we are off and underway once again. Matt Kenseth on the inside. What if right in front of us? Kevin Harvick still right behind us. Somehow he's just hunting us down. He might be a Terminator. He very well may be infiltrated by the termination disease that has been going around. But uh, looks like we're gonna get a nice little run past him. We'll give what if a push into the corner. That may have been too much of a push and it is. He's going around. What if I'm sorry. Oh, when he gets packed by Kevin Harvick. You've been there and done that today. What if I know how it feels, brother? Careful, still there. You truly hate to see it. As uh, we're gonna try to make some moves on Matt Kenseth here on the still outside. There. We get a little bit of a run, maybe with the help of Chase Elliott on the outside. It doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. We're gonna maybe try the inside line. Oh, that might work. See if I can slide job it past him a little no bit up the corner. Line. Made it stick. Maybe I'm just better at the bottom than I am the top. Maybe that's just what I'm learning here, but we're in the fourth, I guess. We'll take it. Come on, Hamlet. Give it up, brother. Nice PJs, you big dummy. Oh, how's the wall taste? I'm gonna put you in it. Scraped up beside him right there. I did not mean to do that, but I'm not crying. Come on, Denny. This is for Rusty Walrus right here. I'll put you down. Oh, slide it in there. Let's get the pass done. Give me that help, Chase. Oh, I'm gonna get a, oh my God. I got a whiplash from that push. Take me to the care center. Oh, here comes some more from Hamlin. Another push into the corner. I'm not Chase Elliott, but he's up the road. Hope he's taking me out. He's gonna come back again with an, oh my God, another push. Oh no, not here. I'm gonna wreck. Oh, we're dead. No, no, don't do it. It's dead. The dream is dead. At least the caution came out. Denny Hamlin just, can I sue Michael Jordan for that? Denny Hamlin just killed me. Well, I guess that's what I get for being a Pistons fan. It's bad boys days coming back to bite me in ways I could have never imagined. But either way, we're back underway here at Homestead. And we have got some work to do now in 30th. On the outside of the living legend, Timmy Hill, maybe the greatest of our generation. A genuine honor, honestly, to restart the race on his outside and then Suarez gonna make it a three wide situation. Oh, I was, almost took us all out again, didn't. Now I'm pushing Stenhouse probably to the doom of whoever's in front of him. Hemrick up there, that's Reddick now. I gotta, I always forget that. I still forget that. Tyler Reddick. And look who it is, it's the seven time. Mr. IndyCar driver now. It's gonna be interesting to see how that goes. And LaJoy gonna sneak to your outside as well. Just taking spots here at will. Seven up in one lap. No problemo. Now Almirola, what's he gonna do tonight? Get his outside, we do. Now I'm gonna get that beautiful suck. Is this Hunter Neiman? No, it's Reagan. I definitely didn't think that was John Hunter Neiman check. Don't ever put that on me. That is completely slanderous. Come on, give me the run here off of Rager. Here we go. Just gonna send it and it's Bill. Bill, 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 Bill. Give me the suck off the corner. The run. Here we go. Newman and Kurt. Two for one. On the bottom. Everybody, please stay on the ground. You are not cleared for takeoff. I know some of you guys have had a little bit of trouble with that in seasons past. Thank you very much. Boyer, he's out of the car. He's in the booth. Still there. I cannot wait to see him 
Clear high, clear high. I don't know, put Jeff Gordon through a table, maybe? That'll be pretty fun. This recovery is going swiftly. Can we get by D Burrito here? And Kez, my boy. Oh, what are you doing, Brad? Put it on clear. <laughs> the white line. That's how Kimi Raikkonen drove his truck at Charlotte. Oh, man. Benedetto got it all over my back, Bomber, but never touched me, I don't think. As a true gentleman would. Kez sent it in on his own teammate there. It got him a little scared, it looked like. And I'm, actually, we're looking at a Penske sandwich up here in front of us. Stay high up here. Come on, Brad. Let's go, brother. I'll lead the way. Follow me. Clear, little bud. We're taking them down. We're going to win this damn war for you. I will not let you be cast aside at Penske. Oh, yes. I can feel the energy coursing through my veins. This is Brad Powell. Oh, Brad, you were supposed to come clear with me. Come on. Keep up. I think Joey just sidetracked him with that. Well, Brad, I don't have all day, brother. Come take my suck and let's go ride. Careful, still there. Oh, oh, I was so close to clearing myself right there, and we would have met an end. Nobody out back. There we go. That was tight. But that's how you clear. Up into 12th. We're almost where we started. Oh, don't wreck me, please. I'm sorry. Forgive me for everything I've ever done, ever. Thank you. Bowman, give me my spot back. Careful, still there. Here we go. I'm we are here. now officially where we started. All screw-ups, null and void. Oh, God, let's make some more. All clear, all clear. No Time to throw a few outside. more in there. The all right, Bowman. Fair enough. I might just need to let these tires uh, not scream for about two and a half seconds. That would probably be a good thing. Bowman, if you're going to leave that inside open, I'll take it. Careful, still there. Can't be looking that vulnerable in front of me. Come on, I'll jump on it like you jumped on the 48 after Jimmy Johnson left like a vulture. Is he going to fight back on me for that comedy? He might come wreck me for that. He's not. Oh, he backs out of it. And we got 10 laps to go. We've gotten back to where we started. Can we start to gain and get a net positive here? Matt Kensis here in front of us. Chris Busher. Very underrated driver, in my opinion, in front of him. Oh, Kenseth leaving the door open. Bottom looks good. As well as backing off there. I don't know what that was, but I will You're take it. And then Truex kind of holds off Busher. I get a shot from Kenseth, and that... Oh, kind of squeezes to the outside of Busher. We barely do. We bounce it off of him. Oh, I'm sliding it around. Come on, this is not how you gain spots. But we are in a dog fight right now. Almost put it in the wall off the corner there. Still there. Real show of talent. Can we make it work on the outside? It's three Careful, wide. Back to two wide. Now, can I get a run off the corner and do something with it? Oh, I got to leave a gap here for me. Two X, please. Still I had there. to bully my way into the hole. Two X. I'll remember this. Busher might make off with some time here. We can't get by either one of these. How? Let's see. If we can get underneath Chuex, pick him off. Clear right. A lot easier to do this one by one. Maybe I need to quit going to this high side. Because they definitely are faster than me. I have. I might have a push coming here. Oh, Chuex couldn't stay in it. And here comes the run. Don't need a push now. So we're gaining Careful, spots here there. as this thing comes down a little bit into eight. A peak clear into eight, and we clear into eight. And we're going to get a shove. There it is. Off the corner. That one was helpful, though. That Careful, one kept me pretty go. straight. That Five laps high. to go. Eric Jones is getting held up by the lappers. Ross Chastain, you beautiful man. You beautiful melon man trying to sell melons to Eric Jones in the middle of a race. White flag is out. One lap for us to go. It's not going to be a win. It could be a pretty solid eighth, potentially seventh. But I got to play my cards right here on Jones. We got to get the run off the corner. From his draft, we're getting the suck. And I've just got to send it in there underneath. Slide it up a little bit. Oh, a little contact. Wheel on wheel. Oh, I'm sliding. No. No, he's going to get the run off the high side. Slam him. 
It's not enough. No. No, he edges us at the line. A beautiful photo finish for eighth place. And Eric Jones stunts on us to bring home the spot. We've got some replays to check out here. How about us taking out Newman and his nice little save near the start? Then we got out there in the distance. We got what if getting packed by us into the corner. And then he ends up saving it, but not after getting packed again by Harvick. Here's a little onboard look at the heinous crime that was committed on us by the PJ man himself, Denny Hamlet. Oh, it even cuts to the onboard. That's pretty sick looking. Actually, we just had no ability to stop that one. See it from another angle here. Just turn this around there. Nothing else you can really say about that one. Pain. And we have the final corner here. We can get some good angles on this one as we're racing to the line. Down at the final stretch, it's a drag race, and he gets us by a nose. Here we have a nice onboard shot of it as well. Nice camera pan heat. And it was that close. There we go. Results in the book. Denny Hamlin has won the race. The PJ man, after committing cold-blooded murder on me, goes on to reap every single ounce of glory there was in the race. And you can see where everybody else has finished. Brad Keselowski in 16th and uh, Jimmy Johnson in 24th down there. Let's see everybody else. Ryan Priest blew up earlier. So not only did Denny Hamlin mug me for the win earlier when he wrecked me and then went on to victory, but he stole my points lead and then extended it by 10 points. So take a look at where everybody else is in the points. You can see where all your favorite drivers are. Ryan Priest and Michael McDowell hurting in the points after the rough runs today, but that's gonna be pretty much it for us. And that will bring us back to the race shop here at the end of another trip to the track. So we come home with eighth place, that's not too bad. And that will help us, you know, at least stay in the top of the points with a good finish like that. And next up, is Mid-Ohio, a road course that does not usually see Cup Series action, but will see it next time we are here, which I will try to get out much faster than we have previously. You have that promise from me. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I will pretty much wrap it up and go. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe because we will be back soon. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.